Country Underground here today. I'm joined by the beautiful Tori Dark. How are you going? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, yeah. It's good. been good. So yeah, here at Tamworth 2015, how are you going? Yeah, it's been a um, been a crazy festival so far. I've, uh, I've only actually been here a day, but been doing lots of interviews and uh, performances here and there. But I have my big show tonight, which will be, be lots of fun. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that and uh, just getting out there and playing some new songs too, because I have a new album coming out in February. Yeah, definitely uh, check that one out. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, Tamworth has been really great. We've suffered from a little bit of rain today, but uh, rain never rain never stopped the spirit of country music. No, that's definitely right. Yeah, yeah. So a new album coming out. Yes. So exciting. I've, yeah, it's very exciting actually. I have a new album coming out on the twenty seventh of February uh, with eleven new tracks, which I'm really excited for everyone to hear. Cool. Yeah. So you've been busy then writing and stuff like that. Uh, Pretty much the end of last year, I was busy writing, recording, and um, and just getting everything together for the album. So the um, the album at the moment is getting pressed. So uh, hopefully, when I get home from time with, I'll have it in my hot little hands, which um, I can't wait. And uh, I've had one single. The first single's been released from that album as well, which got released in December. And already, it's um. It's in the top 10 on the radio charts, which is wow. really cool. And uh, it made number one on iTunes as well the day it came out, which is awesome. So, yeah, yeah, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you very much. That's very cool. Yeah, so obviously writing and stuff, do you have any like major inspirations? Like what do you write about? Um, I try to just write about life, what I go through and uh, what I think people can relate to as well because Especially when it comes to country music, we like to tell stories and you like to feel as though that um, the people listening are feeling what you're feeling and can feel like that same experience so I guess for me inspiration just comes from everyday life and what happens to me or what happens to friends or family or just something that I might see as well yeah definitely no that's really cool no, that's good yeah so you're a solo artist yes I'm a, I'm a solo artist I do perform with my band as well yeah um, but uh, I guess a lot of my gigs are, do consist of me and my acoustic guitar but then when we're on the road like we take the band out yeah. and um, and of course with all the festivals we have the band out too so it's a, it's a hell of a lot of fun and um, music for me is just my life so it's a uh, it's a good job to have yeah yeah definitely. it's very fulfilling and it's uh, it's really re rewarding as well how do you find going from like I guess uh, performing a set acoustically and then from a band is it do you prefer the band or acoustic? Um, I love both to be honest they're both different and both create a completely different atmosphere. Um, performing acoustically it's more of an intimate atmosphere and you find that people tend to listen that little bit closer whereas performing with a band it's crazy fun and just really loud and you know, a lot of people love that too because they want to get up, they want to have a dance, they yeah. want to have a good time and uh, it's just, yeah, they're both completely different but they're both heaps of fun. That's good. It's, it's, I guess it's really good that you can adapt to both ways as well. Well, right. I think, yeah, I mean, you've got to because there are um, instances where you um, you need to play acoustically or you need to be able to do that. So being having that versatility has always been something that's been really important to me and making sure that I could support myself as well like with my guitar and if I needed to go out and do um, do a show or do one song somewhere or or whatever it may be that I was able to do that. Yeah that's cool. So how, how long have you been playing guitar for? Um, I've been playing guitar for probably gosh probably maybe six or seven years now. Yeah. So a while. Yeah. Um, and I mean my plan gets me by. I, um, I'm a rhythm guitarist and uh, you know I love it. It's the best thing you can pick up a guitar and write a song or um, you can go out and support yourself and it's just, it just really um, gives you that extra added, I guess added advantage to being a musician is being able to you know play a song and sing it at the same time. Yeah definitely that's cool. Yeah what kind of did you get into music like at a young age or uh, I got into music when I was about uh, 10 years old yeah. and uh, from there I was just singing all kinds of music and then I got into country music around the age of 15 and I've been coming to Tamworth ever since. Wow, yeah. that's awesome, like a long term Tamworth company. Yeah, well I believe this year I think is my 10th Tamworth so. 10th? Yeah, so my, my 10th year in Tamworth which um yeah it's really exciting. Wow, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you. So yeah, what kind of... What kind of music did you grow up with? 
Um, I had um, parents that were rock and roll dancers, oh, so um, I grew up on a lot of rock and roll hits and um, listening to like 2WS and cool. so um, that's more so the kind of music that I grew up on but three of my favourite artists myself that I tend to listen to or go and buy their CDs as a kid was uh, Faith Hill, Shania Twain and Leanne Rhymes were my three favourite singers and uh, little did I know at that age that they were country singers because they were getting played on all the commercial stations yeah. and uh, so yeah like looking back at it once I sort of went I'm, I'm a country singer now I want to be a country singer I went I've been singing country music for years so yeah yeah so that's the kind of music that I've grown up on and I tend to listen to everything I don't like to um, just listen to one type of music I like to keep I guess a broad opinion on, on all types of music yeah it's a good attitude to have I guess yeah I mean it definitely helps you out if you have to um, play any other types of music for a special occasion or for a wedding or something you may be able to do so yeah cool so yeah where can we find your albums and your EPs and stuff so my EP and my album are both on iTunes and they're also available in, I believe, uh, JB Hi-Fi and Sanity. Um, and the new album um, will be available also the same and they're also available through my website too, um, which is torydark.com. And then also at any live show as well, you can grab a copy of the album or the EP or this new album in February. Definitely, cool. So yeah, Georgia Sharon, Tory Dark, we're on Country Underground. See you soon.